Hi students, it's your friendly Professor Pete sitting here in my office again and it's Friday afternoon. I wanted to provide you with a little bit of information about the Lit Review Outline assignment before you get started on it. Um, for starters, I want to let you know that it's due next Friday, June 18th. As usual, uh, my policy is if you can't get it done by the 18th, just submit it by the end of the weekend so that when I come in on Monday morning, it's uh, been submitted to Blackboard. So, um, like I said before, don't use that insurance policy unless you really need to because you never know when something was going to happen over the weekend and then you'll be totally out of luck. Uh, so anyway, if you can submit it by Friday, that's great. If you can't, then take till Monday. That's, that's cool too. Um, remember, I, I do like to review your drafts before the due date. So if you get to work on this assignment and realize that you're almost done with it and you've got a few days to spare, send it my way and I'll uh, review it for you and provide you with a ton of feedback. And then you'll be able to correct all this stuff and get a perfect score instead of the score that you would have earned had you not gotten my feedback. Okay, um, so that, those are the general things about the assignment. Now for more specific stuff. Um, the Lit Review outline is just that. Uh, later on in the semester, actually after the Lit Review uh, outline, you'll be submitting a full Lit Review to me. But for now, we're just going to worry about the Lit Review outline. And the outline is just that. It's an outline. It doesn't have to be in narrative form. Um, it can just be bullet points in an outline format. You can do it in Microsoft Word or whatever word processing software you want. They, they have good uh, outlining uh, tools that will allow you to make it simple. Okay, so for your full literature review, you're going to need 20 references, and more than half of those um, need to be empirical, peer-reviewed journal articles or other sorts of primary sources. So um, start working on collecting those references, uh, and they should all have to do with your research topic. Most of you guys, um, once you check your email and find the graded research question, will realize that your topic has been approved and you're good to go. A couple of you will need to um, talk with me more just to refine your research topic a little bit before you should get started on the Lit Review outline. Um, okay, so like I said, you're, you're going to have 20 references at least total in your Lit Review, but since this is just a first step, you only have to have half. So this Lit Review outline only has to include 10 references, but remember, this is, your, um, this is your chance to get feedback from me on all those references you collect. So the more you can provide me with, the better. Um, so you only are required to have 10, but the closer you can get to 20 at this stage in the game, the better. Um, that, uh, the PowerPoint that I asked you guys to look at this past week, that was um, created by Nancy Schaefer. Um, that will be very helpful in terms of teaching you how to use the library's online resources to help you find references. Um, the library has all kinds of databases and online journals that will make it really easy for you guys to search and find the stuff that you need. Okay, so once you start collecting your, your sources, you're going to want to organize them into subtopics. Um, these subtopics can be really anything that you want as long as it makes sense. What I don't want you to do is to just list one source and talk about it, then list another source and talk about it, list another source and talk about it, list another source and talk about it. Rather, I want you to organize your, um, your subtopics, or sorry, organize your references according to logical subtopics. And those will be specific to your, uh, your main research focus, so it's hard for me to tell you exactly what those subtopics are going to be. Um, the example that I provided in the description of the assignment had to do with full day versus half day kindergarten. And the subtopics that I came up with were the history of kindergarten, current kindergarten programs, uh, effects on reading achievement, effects on other academic areas, and effects on social development. So that, those are just uh, examples of subtopics that you could use if your topic was full day versus half day kindergarten. Um, so essentially you can, you can organize your references into whatever subtopics seem logical to you, but that's an important next step. Um, the Lit Review outline should have two main sections, an introduction and a literature review that stands to reason. Um, and, and I want it to be formatted in pretty much that way. In other words, I want it there to be a, a distinct uh, introduction section and a distinct literature review section. So I'll be able to tell the difference. Okie dokie. What else is important about this? Okay, uh, remember to include a reference list. APA style dictates that you have to have a reference list, not a bibliography, not a works cited list, but a reference list. Um, in that reference list, you should include 
uh, references for each of the sources that you include in your lit review outline. If you have sources that you found but didn't get a chance to include them in your outline, don't include them in your reference list. Okay? Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, okay. A note about APA style. You can go on to um, a website that I've linked uh, to our Blackboard page, and that's called Purdue OWL. OWL stands for Online Writing Lab, and Purdue has a really good resource that can teach you all about how to do APA citations. So, um, that's pretty much it for my guidelines. As always, I welcome your questions, so drop me a line anytime you think of anything that, you, uh, that you're curious about or don't know where to go, um, and I'll be happy to help you. While I got you, I'm going to grab the camera and show you where you can find the important documents on our Blackboard page. Okay, so you'll click on this assignments link and then inside that folder you'll see outline of literature review so you'll click there and these documents in here are the ones that you really really need to look at. The assignment description will tell you a lot of the same things I just told you in this video um, with, with, uh, with a few additions. And then I've got two sample lit review outlines. The first one's pretty brief and the second one's pretty long and yours can fall somewhere in between. They both did exceptionally well on this assignment so I think they're good examples for you. And then last but not least, the rubric, the rubric. Please read the rubric because this is your chance to, to find out exactly how I'm gonna be grading this assignment, okay? So check out those documents and, um, and they'll help you succeed in this assignment. Now, I told you before that I had linked to the Purdue OWL, and I want to find that. There we go. Under the external link section of Blackboard, the first one on the list is Purdue's online writing lab, the Purdue OWL. So go there to help you figure out how to do APA style citations, and um, that'll, that'll pretty much do it for you. Okay, so like I said before, if you have any questions, just drop me a line, and I'll be available all weekend and all next week to answer your questions, and good luck to you.